So a warm welcome. Today we have Mattia from APA America here in the Rapping Suit Center. And we rap a lot with the Mattia with this new Ultra Jet Colors, the Rapping film from APA. And uh, I was pretty surprised with this product, but actually I think you can tell a little bit more about it and I know for the first time so I rap with this material not with the new line I think right now we are the fourth generation yeah, right, of this generation. materials and, and I actually rap 10 12 years ago was the first, first generation first yeah. generation of this material and I have still a car outside driving with this uh, it's it's still on I would say but it was really difficult to install this time yeah. Yeah. and uh, you can a little bit tell about more about the material about the history even about the history of APA yeah correct. but we say APA here yeah, in, Europe. in Europe is APA in the United States we say APA um, so like you say, you say right, so this is our fourth generation, it's called Ultra Jet. It's completely different than the previous uh, uh, generation of uh, Materia. This was uh, focused mainly for the United States market, but like this week I was released also in, in, uh, uh, in Europe because the response from, uh, from the installer over there mm -hmm. is, is amazing. So we tried to, uh, the main idea was to get a, a, a product that is quick and Easy to install. So line, now this material has a, um, is a um, um, slideable, mm -hmm. so you can install by yourself uh, like a big hood uh, or roof uh, with no problem. And the other big feature that we add uh, is now is the pressure sensitive. So now when you press the material, you activate fully the, the adhesive and the material stays there, doesn't move. So these two features together, it kind of help uh, to do an easy and quick installation for any, any installer, any level. And uh, the, uh, like, uh, like I would say, the, the feedback that we have uh, from uh, the installer that we're using also our previous uh, technology is like really, really cool. So on top of that, uh, we were able to add also an extra uh, feature that is uh, the pet liner protection that help uh, to keep uh, the material uh, super glossy. So like you say earlier, um, yeah, you can remove that. So super easy. We have a PET liner on the top of the film. So this is just for protection and that the film is, stays really glossy. And we have amazing glossiness on this film so you don't see any air channels, nothing actually. And this comes from the PET liner. So this protects not only really all the material straight and close. Correct. Need to be removed before the installation uh, because this one obviously you can't stretch. So it's really important to remove the material before the installation. And that's it. the material is super glossy. It's uh, almost uh, three years that from the importers they are working on, uh, on this technology because Customer and in, installer was were asking uh, for more and more gloss colors, uh, and uh, honestly, not just our but all the gloss colors that are on the market was not good enough. Uh, but now uh, we have this material that uh, make everybody happy, and this is obviously full cast material. We're not talking about color in the film, uh, and also this one is, is a big, uh, a big feature. Big feature. Yeah. Big feature. Colors. No, the colors, so, yeah, colors. Colors. So, so this is a really, this is a special kind of when you first see it on a swatch book or a small sample, I, I get the roll delivered here and say, oh, it's a different color. Uh, but on the car, it looks amazing. So it's called lavender. La, yeah, hello, uh, lavender. Uh, we have a lot of requests for these colors in the last six months. Uh, so we decided to release it. So last year, uh, we are developing a lot of our colors directly in the United States. Uh, last year, uh, we were able to release uh, uh, one color per month. Uh, and uh, this year, we're going to release between two to three colors every month. So um, there are going to be gloss, uh, satin, matte, uh, metallic, uh, solid color. There will be a lot of everything, depending on what the market is uh, requesting. But at the moment, we are really pushing a lot of releasing new and new colors and even really deep colors. So there are single layered films. Yeah. So this is just, this is 90 microns. Correct, yeah, um, like right? this one, this is a, a mono layer, so this is 90 microns. Yeah, and we have also really sparkling deep color. Correct. 
So <laughs> to reach that uh, um, depth, uh, we do like a double uh, double layer. So like you see also, especially in the, in the sun, uh, the metallic are really rich. So we have two types of metallic, for example, we have the, the mono layer. They are nice metallic, uh, but nothing compare uh, the uh, double layer metallic that give uh, like, like that extra effect that looks uh, like paint, something like that. Oh, really deep. And he actually, so if you have a swatch book, if you're lucky enough to have a swatch book like this, so on the back side of the swatch book, so there is everything written down. So you see it's double layered, it's mono layered. You see the glue, which right. And this is nice. You have a small QR code here, and this links you directly to a gallery. Correct. And you can see some pictures of that specific color in different uh, vehicles. Yeah, because it's always nice. So if I have a customer in my regular shop, they ask, okay, yeah, it's nice to have a small uh, sample like this, but you want to see, okay, how it looks outside, Correct. how it looks on a sports car, how it really performs on the end under the sun. Is it deep color or not? Or how it looks. Yeah. So, and uh, with this gallery, you see, really live shots, really nice pictures from cars, wrapped with this color, and you get a nice, nice overview from this color. Correct. That's really good. And at the moment with this uh, technology, we have one third of our colors is already with this technology. This here, we are going uh, on top of the new colors we're going to release, we're going to move uh, a lot of colors from the regular technology to the new one. So by the mid of next year, we should have everything with this uh, new technology. Also the color that was mm -hmm. released earlier. What's special about from the installation? So I installate the hood and the front fender before by myself. Uh, it works really good, but what is special is the glue. What you need to have is really right pressure on yeah. the glue. So like I said earlier, so the pressure sensitive with this technology is uh, really there. So we kind of maximize that uh, feature. So uh, it really work uh, awesome like on corners, uh, on deep areas or stuff like that. But when you have like a, a flat area, you need to make sure to squeegee in a, in a firm way. Because if you don't squeegee, you don't um, squeegee enough, uh, strong enough, mm -hmm. uh, um, you're not going to activate the glue and you can, could have uh, some issue with bubbling uh, the day after. And this usually is only on uh, flat area because the installer don't pay attention because usually it's the easy part uh, and you can have some issues in that area. So you just need to make sure, like we showed earlier, uh, to don't miss one spot uh, and to mark it. Yeah, we have two uh, types of switches now for the EPA here, so it's in a color and you can put it in the right direction. So not in the wrong direction, the right direction from the Italian flag. And you have really, so this is the soft one only for curvy areas. This is the medium one, what I use mainly now before with this car. And you have a really, really strong hardware. Uh, squeegee and uh, try to squeegee really good so that the yeah. glue sticks on the surface sure. and uh, then it's really also good and there's I have no issue with this uh, so it works really perfect. Yeah it's the only wow. thing that uh, I need to pay attention during the installation like you see the, because it's lightable uh, mm -hmm. and also you can represent the material super uh, easy um, make uh, you uh, super comfortable to work by yourself. You don't need a, uh, an extra hand. And also, if you have to stretch the material in one or the other direction, you don't see any stretch marks. Uh, or, yeah. or We lift the material before, up and down, and stretch again, even from the fender. So I try to, to pull really hard and up and down, and there were actually no marks on it. Yep. Temperature, so installation temperature inside should be around 20 degrees Celsius, how much Fahrenheit yes. is it? Correct, yeah. So. No, I don't know Fahrenheit, but that <laughs> so. is the right temperature. It's important also the temperature for the post heat. Yeah. So like you know, in any custom material, the post heat is, uh, is always important. Uh, on this material, you have to reach a temperature between 205 to 215 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. That is, is an important step uh, that uh, you can use on any, in any brand. Yeah. So, yeah. For me, it was a great experience today and I'm looking forward to really wrap other cars with this uh, material. And even so, they have uh, so much nice colors in this swatch book, uh, especially my, here we go, is this color, uh, Sandstorm. Yeah.
Also, man, I would check now with the QR code pictures of other cars arrived with this. And uh, it was really great to have you here this day. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.